my nature is to be lazy, right? And I think a lot of us are, uh, are probably that way. Um, but here's what I mean when I say laziness is the key to success. By, by being lazy, or by lazy just being your natural nature, it forces you to adopt structure in your life. It forces you to adopt accountability in your life. Being lazy forces you to live in a structured environment that develops habits and that ultimately develops disciplines that will ultimately lead to your success. The track um, actually getting service um, this time, uh, so wanted to come at you with a topic that just came to me as I was out here running, just ran another uh, three miles uh, just now, and uh, picking up my speed, it's actually, this is getting interesting, my first mile was like 6'10", completely burnt out, it was like not 8 or something and 9 on the second two, but whatever, just kind of messing around with all this running nonsense, but here, uh, here's a topic I wanted to discuss uh, today, and so you saw the topic, it said laziness is the key to success, and I know how that sounds, I know it sounds like one of those emails that you get, one of those spam emails that just want to get you to click to open it up, and it's like, ah, surprise, hey, what's up Charles, man, sorry about that, as soon as I, as soon as I uh, read your comment, it freaking Facebook just jumped off, but um, Jeff said prep for that 24 hour walk, that's right, but um, so here's what, here's what I mean uh, by laziness is the key to success. And guys, I'm going to put some more thought to this and get it uh, a little bit well, more well-rounded. Um, but kind of how my brain operates. When something hits me, if I don't record it or if I don't write it down, it's gone. But um, So laziness is the key to success. So I've said this before and I'll say it again. I, I figure, I just kind of believe, and you can say this is just negative, being negative or being hard on, hard on myself, but... I believe that deep down inside of me, um, that my natural, um, my natural, uh, what's the word I would use? I don't, just basically, my, my nature is to be lazy, right? And I think a lot of us are uh, are probably that way. Um, but here's what I mean when I say laziness is the key to success. By by being lazy, or by lazy just being your natural nature. It forces you to adopt structure in your life. It forces you to adopt accountability in your life. Being lazy forces you to live in a structured environment that develops habits and that ultimately develops disciplines that will ultimately lead to your success. Now, some people would say, well, if you've developed those disciplines, if you've developed those habits, if you've got those structures in place, then you're not lazy at all. Uh, you're, you're a hard worker. Here's the thing, you can be a hard worker and be lazy at the exact same time. One's internal, one's external. And so, so there's my point, is that on the outside, I can just absolutely work my face off today uh, sell a bunch of life insurance policies, get this run in, go to the gym later. But you know what? It was a mental battle, an internal war that went on to make myself do it. And quite frankly, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Now, I don't have you know, a decade of research or statistics or some, you know, big study uh, to prove this long term, but I just know that that's been my story over the last, you know, a little over three years. You know, when I went from being unemployed, and just in a bad place, and uh, broke, in debt, out of shape, to all of a sudden the very next year, the very next 12 months making over 300 grand, and 450 the year after that, and then on track to do about 700 or so this year. It wasn't the laziness that went away. I have to fight that every single morning when my alarm goes off. I have to fight that every single time I have a free second to sit down, that have a free second to not answer my phone. I have to fight that every single second of the day. 
but it's building a structure and I talked about this on a Facebook live the other day about um, always scheduling your meetings for the very first thing in the morning when you schedule when you put when you plan your schedule out hey I'm gonna meet this guy uh, for coffee hey can you do 530 you do 6 a.m. how's that I just saw something good here Neil said you're either doing business or business one pays more than the other yeah and there's so many that are out there getting a lot of stuff done but they're not getting anything accomplished so they're doing a lot of things but what are they accomplishing and those may be some of the people that aren't lazy if you're maybe and I'm just kind of spitballing this but if you're naturally not lazy if you're naturally one that can't um, that can't you know sit still then you're probably pretty prone to doing a lot of non-income producing activities just to keep yourself busy because busy in your mind equals productivity when the reality is it just doesn't and so what I've tried to do is uh, and I'm gonna read this comment here jo Johan Lutz or Johan Lutz I think it's Johan mental war with myself every morning at 4 to get my workout in know what you're talking about Mr. Harris that's exactly right man and you know what it's that mental war that makes the success that much sweeter it's the fact that it's not in your normal nature uh, to do something and you do it anyway and it feels that much better when you've when you've accomplished it um, if you guys are agreeing with me I would love for you to throw some likes on there so I don't feel like I'm out on this field all alone which actually I'm not there's one guy out here which is awesome but uh, but that's it so what I've tried to do over the last three years and really the system within our company's structure or the structure within our company system sorry um, has really enabled that enabled me to do that and it kind of forced me into that and whether that was something that was forced on me or whether that was something that I adopted through the structure you know I don't know um, all I know is that I was put into this system where you know my meetings had to be scheduled back to back to back my time had to be managed wisely um, or I couldn't get the job done it was one of those where if you couldn't be efficient you couldn't be effective and those two don't always go hand in hand there's a lot of businesses there's a lot of careers that you can be effective and not necessarily have to be efficient but this particular structure forced me uh, into that um, into that uh, that structure and so again laziness being the key to success just means that laziness forces you into those systems it forces you to develop structure or or <laughs> you fail so that's kind of the caveat is that you know it's not period end of sentence laziness is the key to success end of story it's laziness is the key to success for those that are a, that are able to adopt structure to adopt habits to to develop disciplines over time um, and that is the caveat there so if there's any kind of bait and switch on this message that would certainly be it in that you know you can't just be lazy and then all of a sudden you're gonna be successful but the encouragement is and that's everything I try to put out it's all about you know how can I figure out a way to provide value and to provide encouragement for someone that may be sitting there saying God man I'm I just I'm lazy I gotta stop being so lazy you know, you're sitting on the couch you know, on a Saturday and you're like man I just feel lazy so the encouragement is anyone can adopt structures anyone can develop Stuff about that guy I just got a call anybody can put create habits um, sometimes it takes direction from others to help you do that uh, guidance from others accountability partners things like that but anybody can put those things in place so again if you're lazy if you feel like your your natural inhibition is uh, your natural tendency not inhibition <laughs> your natural tendency is to be lazy then you just know that you're gonna to have to put yourself into a position to develop massive amounts of structure around whatever you're doing, whatever you're trying to accomplish. And that's the only way you're gonna be able to do that, time blocking um, every second of the day. Because you know, and you need to be self-aware enough to know that if you don't time block every second of the day, that every second you have free is gonna be spent being lazy. 
So if you know that, hey, that's fine. Like that's, that's okay. Like I'm sitting here telling you, like that's me, that's me. If I didn't have a structure for every second of the day, the seconds that were not structured are going to be missed. So that's fine. So do something about it. Set up that structure. Fill your calendar with things. And if you're gonna fill them with things, how about fill them with things that are income producing activities? Again, back to that, um, you know, a, a treadmill can work hard, but it's not gonna get you anywhere. So many people are just sitting there on a treadmill, a hamster wheel, right? Just going round and round and round and round and round, saying, man, I'm working so hard. But you're not getting anywhere, you're not accomplishing anything. So, guys, that's it. Uh, the other key, and the reason why I initially jumped on here on live, is that uh, second day in a row out here, the guys that saw my video yesterday, ran five miles yesterday. It was the first time I've ever ran that far in my entire life. And uh, came right back out here today and ran three. And the average on the three miles is faster than yesterday, even though I'm freaking I'm so sore right now. But that brings me to the very last point, and that's consistency. Consistency over time is what ultimately will enable someone who's lazy to be successful. So Susan has a uh, comment here, discipline, accountability, and consistency. <laughs> How is it possible you just say consistency? That is awesome. Uh, consistency will win the day. Shift your mindsets, shift your life. Initially putting structures in place to help create new mindsets and habits is helpful. Uh, that's awesome and that's so, so fitting uh, for you to say that word uh, consistency right at the end because that's exactly what I wanted to wrap up with. So guys, if you got anything out of this uh, little Facebook Live out here on the football field, out in the middle of nowhere in Georgia, would love for you to share it uh, because I think there's probably somebody out there right now who's feeling lazy and who is allowing that to uh, affect uh, their activity level, which ultimately will affect every single aspect of their life, personal and professional. And, and that's a bad place to be. And so what I wanna offer is just shed light on the fact that, hey, if you're lazy, guess what? That's freaking awesome. Now go do something about it and create a structure for you to succeed. And, uh, and that's it. We've all got one life, one life, one life. And uh, you can either sit back and say, this is just me, or you can develop a structure around it and figure out a way so that you can win. All right, guys, we'll talk to you all soon. Friends.